So now I can see. Where is the? Out of the Okay, I think that's good. I'll be cleaning, wiping, going over here, la 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 la. Okay, we are set. Very good. We're all set up. Okay. Yeah, everything should work now. Okay, good. Cleaning. Never ending cleaning. Why didn't it play? I don't know why that did. 
Could you, uh, could you, t- could you say something to me again? Yeah, that, that's my stepdad. And he's from Ecuador. And my mom is from Ecuador. So I'm from Ecuador too, kinda. Although I was born in Canada. Yes, indeed. You have a good memory. How's life? What's new? So the app keeps calling me. Said you are my favorite reptile channel. That's why. <laughs> so my uh, little African house snake didn't have a perfect shed today. So th- with little snakes, this really works well. You just stick them in the wet container with wet messy paper towel, and it'll just get its shed off no problem. Nice and simple. And you don't even have to soak them and help them. It'll just happen on its <coughs> on its own. It's crazy because the room is really humid right now, so we shouldn't be having any shedding problems. You don't have any shedding problems. No. See, this one just had a perfect shed. Just trying to get these all cleaned. I have somebody coming to check out some snakes. So that's exciting. He's calling me. Said, I want to peel off my snake's shed from his head. Where do I start peeling it how? Uh, so first you would soak it. Then you would hold it securely from the head. And you would, you would start at its lips. The next time I have one that has like an issue like that, I'll I'll make a video about it, but usually the head comes off fine. Hey buddy. This is Daddy Samson. He is a troublesome eater. Mama's a good eater, daddy's a bad eater. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Cool. Make a video but with a big boa. You want a video about all the boas, all the big boas? Is that your request? Trump keeps calling me. Said, because my boa is seven feet. Ooh, and Mama. Mama's been eating decently. She's a wonderful, wonderful snake. There's Mama. 
black African house snake. She's wild. Well, so uh, the last giant show that they had in in um, Toronto before COVID came, I was like, I'm gonna find myself some African house snakes. My and hairy buns said, "How many species of snakes do you have?" I don't know. Kiss my. <laughs> I don't know. I've bred over 20 different species of animals since I started. I used to, I don't know, I used to kind of think you should have a little bit of everything. But the problem with having a little bit of everything is that when you have a little bit of everything and you don't specialize, it's hard to like keep everyone interested in everything. So now I think it's better to just focus on a couple things that are your favorite and just specialize in that because your time and everything it gets it gets divided between them all and next thing you know it becomes very difficult to take care of them all to keep the passion and all that stuff so the best thing to do is to find something you really really love a species you find your favorite snake and uh, then Start working with that. Work with your favorite snake, work with your favorite morph, and th that's the best way to do it. My Mary Buns said, Do your big bows and reticulated pythons for perfect sheds? Yep, most of the time. Once in a while I'll have to help a boa shed. The retics are pretty good, like, they'll, they'll go into the water and soak themselves. It's like they know. <laughs> <laughs> but they also make they make a mess man if they're not peeing they're shedding if they're not shedding they're crapping they they make big peas so out of out of all of them like the boa peas are not like yeah they still make a decent pea but when the retic peas like it just makes the whole room smell my hairy buds said have you ever had them not shed their heads but everything else um, usually, if anything, what, what gets stuck on mine is the back, their back. Like, like on the back of the spine, once in a while, there'll be a little bit of shed that doesn't come off. And then I'll just spray them down or soak them and help them get it off. But for the most part, most of my snakes are shedding pretty, pretty well. It's kind of like the odd occurrence that I'll have snakes that don't, don't shed well. Because I have a humidifier, but it's like... I'm not going to run the humidifier when it's so bloody humid in the room. Like, it is humid in the room, so... I, I don't understand it sometimes. It's a mystery. It remains a mystery. Do, 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 do. Avery did such a good job. She uh, she washed all the uh, she washes all these little water bowls and prepares them for me, so that I just basically clean all this stuff and they're good to go. But she does like she cleans about forty bowls once a week for me. My hairy buns said, "One time I saw a video where you got a baby boy and you took all this shit off starting from the head." Yeah, so then you already saw. It's the same thing, babies, adults. I'm, I'm actually, I was thinking, somebody mentioned that in a video I showed them kind of how to restrain a snake. So I'm going to I'm gonna make a video about that, which would be fun. Basically how to kind of like manhandle your snake without manhandling it. Because y when you grab a snake, you don't want to grab it like you're going to hurt it. Like, like where, it, like... You hold it securely like it can't go anywhere, the way like a seat belt would, but you don't grab it like you're choking it. And there's, I guess there's an art to that, where, well, I don't know, lots of these things, I guess, come more naturally to me. But if you don't understand what's going on, and you see it happening, you might think that I'm choking the snake or something. Can you show a video man handling a big snake? <laughs> okay. I have I have a video in the Super Dwarf Reticulated Python playlist. Five tips for handling. 
Then I have another one that has the um, how not, like, what to do if you get bit or how not to get bit, something like that. But all the tips in there, too, talk about uh, how to hold the snake and stuff. <coughs> Right now I'm posting so much short content that it's just, it's it's hard. It's hard to uh, keep up with the other content. But tomorrow at 9 a.m. there's a video from two years ago that I made at Cornell's World. So I finally edited that and got that up, so that's nice. I don't know if you watched Scaled at all. Yep, kinda. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, just, I'll, I'll just, I'll finish clean. I, I got to, how many bowls here? I got, I got to clean this. I'm gonna clean this, and then I'm gonna clean uh, two more bowls. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna finish. Are you? Do you just keep changing your name? You're such a troublemaker. You're such a strange individual, but. I love it anyways. Okay, so, what the heck was that? Uh, I'm going to go wash these three bowls. I'll be right back. When I'm done cleaning these things, I'll show you how to manhandle a big snake. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there because I got it set up nicely. Do, 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 do. Boyle said, call my first time here silly. <laughs> really? Sure. <laughs> oh, you're ridiculous. Okay, what is this? Sadaka sweets. I don't get it. Oh, I do get it. Okay. Okay, we're back. Joel said, "You are a superhero in my mind." <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just a nasty old guy that cleans snake crap all the time. <laughs> do 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 do. And I'm getting fat. I haven't been sleeping properly. Uh, 
There's a card game called Netrunner, and I I play it competitively. So the uh, there's a world tournament coming up at the. B A R C H E C K said, "What is your favorite snake you own?" Ryan Blachek. <laughs> supposed Asleep to. Sleep said, "Is that like a gambling game?" No, no, I don't gamble, drink, or anything. I'm totally, like, straight edge. <laughs> if you look up Netrunner, you will find... And if you look up Netrunner in my actual name, you'll actually... Alexa, play Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. <laughs> Love the sleep. Said, oh, you are a straight-edge man. Yeah. I did everything wrong in my day. B-A-R-C-H-E-C-K. Said, do you watch wrestling? W-W-E. No, no, no. I never, I was never into that. Like, if I was to... The only thing I actually am quite entertained by is Patty the Batty. I actually... I think Patty the Batty is pretty, uh... Pretty awesome. Like, he just... He really... People look at him like a joke and stuff, and he jokes around, but you can tell he's really, you know, dedicated and hardworking and... Like, he's a weirdo, but, like, I, I like that. I like weirdos, because I'm a weirdo, too, so... Yep, 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 yep. Cause I'm a freak and I'm a weirdo. What am I doing here? I'm cleaning snake poo. B a r c h e c k said, "Have you heard of Hulk Hogan, not the American hero?" Yeah, yeah, of course. My friend actually did his makeup before. See, the corn snakes had perfect sheds. But the African house snakes didn't. How strange is that? Doyle said, thoughts on conspiracy theories? Mm. Let's just say I don't trust the government. B-A-R-C-H-E-C-K said, did he do his makeup when he came to Canada or what? Uh, it was years ago. So when I was in when I was in hair school, I became friends with this girl who was a makeup artist, and she won this makeup competition. And that, then from winning that makeup competition, they sent her to the states and gave her crazy training. And ever since then, she was always doing makeup for big events. And at one point, she did makeup. Oil. For Hulk Hogan. I think many people feel the same as you after the pandemic. Yeah, you know, it, it really messed up my business. The first the first year of COVID, I sold more snakes and stuff than ever. Like, I had my best year ever. But then after that, I like I haven't been doing that great. And my salon my salon got set back like five years. So I spent years building a business. And now, I have to rebuild it. Little corn snake. <laughs> yeah, it's affected everyone. But it's especially affected small business owners. Because it's just like, when, I, when I'm low on money, like, what, what the heck can I do? I can't just make more people come into the hair salon. And it's also something I just spent years building. So, I, I can't just go get a regular job either because I take care of Avery. I'm a full-time dad, so. said, so sorry about the business. Strange how they took care of big business but neglected small business owners. Yep. 
And that, that I thought was ridiculous too. So uh, a thousand people can go to Walmart a day, but I can't see five people at my hair salon. Like, like that, that to me makes absolutely no sense at all. But in a way I'm fortunate because my salon is small and not super expensive. So if I was in the salon that I was at before the small one, I would have been under for sure because my rent was almost $4,000 a month. My new little salon, it's it's basically about $1,000 a month. But still, having to pay $1,000 a month for a shop that you're not even in for two years, it's hard. But I, I've never, I don't know, I've never really, I've never, -R -C -H -E -C -K. yeah. Oh, One allergies. time I saw a video that took place at a Walmart in Canada. Dot and a guy got thrown out for not wearing a face mask during the pandemic. I wear the mask. You know what I mean? Like, I believe COVID's real. I just think that it was also used, it's also being used to take advantage of people. And for the rich people to get rid of the middle class. I think that they want to make everyone rich and poor. And then all the poor people can serve the rich people. Like, but that's what the school system's designed to do too. From the time we go to school, we're taught to go to university. So <laughs> first you're gonna go to school for eight years or whatever. Then you're gonna go to school and spend like a couple hundred thousand dollars for more education. And most people won't even be able to use that education. Like it, it's a system designed to take our money and screw us over. It's not designed to help us. It's designed to profit off of us. To me, I think everyone should think more about, you know, starting their own little business. Like, I wish everyone could just do something they enjoy. Doyle said, Klaus Schwab says, you will own nothing and be happy by 2030. <laughs> yeah. B A R C H E C K said, I didn't want to go to normal school, elementary to high school. What makes them think I want to go an extra eight years more? Exactly. You know, I spent I spent three years in grade twelve. I got my high school diploma. I've never really needed it, <laughs> but at least I got it. Like it's like, and then I passed hair school. So hair school was another one where hair school I think was like eight to nine thousand dollars but if you go to after hair school I hired a guy who was like the best hairdresser in the world in 1981 so I, I paid him five grand to teach me each year to compete for competitions and that was the best thing I ever did because he basically turned me into a master stylist by the time I was 20 so B A R C H E C K said, "When did you officially become a hairdresser? At what age?" Nineteen. Did you watch my documentary? <laughs> Lots of the time, hairdressers will offer celebrities to do their hair for free so that they can be like, yo, I do this person's hair. So, like, that that's another problem. Like, I did hair for Miss Canada and Miss Universe, and guess how much they paid me? Nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm never gonna, I'll never do that again. You know, I did hair for Mar Mariana's Trench. He paid me. 
Um, Josh Ramsey from Mariana's Trench. I did his hair for the 2013 MMVAs. Watch music video awards. Yeah. Take me with you. I start to miss you. Do 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 do. Okay. B A R C H E C K said, "Do you do your daughter's and wife's hair?" Of course. I just gave Avery highlights for for school. Plus, she comes and sits with me at the salon so good, and she doesn't understand sometimes, you know, why why she has to wait for so long. So when I do her hair, then she understands. Like, she has to wait when she gets her hair done, and they all have to wait too. So it helps her understand. I teach my baby. Okay. I have two more bowls. C-A-R-C-H-E-C-K said, does she go on a school bus or you take her in your motorcycle? Oh, I walk her. I walk her to school. Um, I'm going to be right back and then we will do some handling. Let you handle the things. <laughs> I have a bow in there that just shed too. Put another perfect shed, so. Sleep said, let's handle snakes. Very soon, very soon. You like? I'll take out about. I'll take out. A, I'll take out Sophie. She's about a seven foot boa, so you can see. Yeah, you know what? There during Christmas time, you can get those Christmas tree, the Christmas tree tubs, and they do they do very well in there. You might just have to black out, like spray paint the uh, three of the walls black, or like you put it inside like a little. You make like a cabinet drawer system, and then that'll that'll make it feel secure too. Okie dokie. Are you ready? Are you ready to handle some snakes? Okay. Yeah, I'll get my blue lightsaber. It's so cool. A heat mat. The no. Sleep said, Will a heat mat burn the plastic tub? The, the temperature, like, uh, having a night. The sleep said, I am going to take a shot for the snake handlings. Okay, having a, um, having, 
Uh, give me, give me five of them, okay? Um, so, <laughs> that's why I don't drink, because who wants one shot? Who wants one? If you're happy with that, good for you. Okay, very nice. So, let's see what's going to happen. We're going to stand up over here, and reposition this like this. Okay. How's that? Okay, now we'll turn on the light. Doyle said, ha ha ha, who wants one? Oh. Okay, very good. Okay. Dude, now I got Mariana's trench stuck in my head. Take me with you, I start to miss you. Okay, so how to manhandle a snake. Sounds so wrong. Hey, see this shed? See, perfect shed. Let me show you that guy, because he is gorgeous. Yeah, like it is as long as you get the human. Sleep said, in your opinion, is it fine to keep a seven foot boa in a four by two glass aquarium? As long as you get the humidity right, okay? Now, when we look at this snake, I've actually never like held this one down. So, but let's say I want to just check them. I usually like to wrap them around my face, around my, around my neck. And then, let me see here, let me show you, yes. So I like to wrap them around my neck so that they're grabbed onto me. And then I slowly get right here, and you see that? I got him. I'm not squeezing him like tightly, I'm holding him, I'm holding him like really gently in place. So you see he can't go anywhere, but I'm not, I'm not pulling him, I'm not hurting him, I'm just like, He's squeezed securely. You see, he's not even pulling away. He's trapped. Like, see, he can he can still flick his tongue and everything. Uh, if he was really unhappy, he'd probably like pee on me or something. But sleep said, "Do you ever let him bite you for pleasure?" No. no I, like I try to never get bit by my snakes, but like you see, so he might not really like that. Now he's pulling away a bit. But if I would just want to. Um, if I just want to Sweet. check on him, said, you know, like endorphin rush. See, I'll hold him. I'm not squeezing him, right? I'm just holding him securely, and I, however way I hold him, usually I like to, um, cause he's get like that. I like to get underneath. So, by getting underneath, by getting underneath the head, then I can see the mouth good. So I'll get underneath there, and then I can. I have him securely from underneath, I can open his mouth, I can check that his mouth is okay and everything. See, he just actually let go of me, so he was just hanging off my hand. I want him to be securely on me, so you're not just grabbing him by the neck. See, he's using his weight to try and get away. I don't want to bother him, right? Like, said, can you speak with them? So see, even after that, like, he's not, he obviously, well, I don't even know if he, it's uncomfortable. No one wants to like be restrained, but it, it, there, there's a really the way of doing it is just very. You go there to the head, and you gently hold them, and you just hold the it in a way. Said, but once you restrain him like that, where do you start peeling the shed skin? Okay, so if if he was in shed, first you'd soak him, then you'd hold him like this, and then you'd go right you'd go right over here. You'd go right here to where the mouth is, and you would with your you would just get the scale off of him, off of the bottom of his mouth here, and then you would go on top, and here remove it from here. Okay, and now see, look when I let go of him, 
He's not trying to bite me or nothing. He's not trying to hurt me. I didn't, like, <laughs> lots of people said that you speak with them with language. No, but lots of lots of people holding just regular boas have a snake that will be more like flighty and stuff. I just totally restrained him, put my fingers in his mouth, opened his mouth and everything, and you can see he's still chill. Now I'll show you with a bigger one. And that was my first time doing with him too. In general, I'm I'm never gonna. Re said. But you soak his head first, right, to soften the skin. Well, he shed fine on his own, so... But if, yeah, if you're going to be doing it by hand, first you want to soak them for an hour or two. Like, if, if it's fresh and it just shed and it had a bad shed, then I would, um... I'd soak it for, like, 20 minutes and it should come off. But if it's been on for a while and it hasn't shed, then soak them for an hour or two in a few inches of warm water in a container that is like closed with some air holes that way it has the humidity because if you just put them in water without having really high humidity it's not going to help it as much asleep said how can you tell if they are angry or agitated? By their, by how tense they are. I'm just putting, uh, I'm doing a little bit of cleaning, so. Sleep said, but mine still hasn't shed his head in one month, so that's how I take it off, like you said. Okay, so now I'll show you with, I'll show you with a bigger one. So there we go. This is Sophie. Sophie is an like seven, seven foot snake, maybe even more. And she's a strong character. Like she doesn't, she doesn't let like she's sweet and everything, but she doesn't. She doesn't really mess around. Sleep said, how big is the biggest boa you have? Fish oil said, can you give it a kiss on the mouth? See, look at this. So once again, I got her. I gently reached under her neck. I, I reached under her neck. I'm holding her very gently, but securely. And she's trying to fight me a little bit, but I'm just, I'm holding her nicely. You see that? Nice and securely. And now I can look inside her mouth. I can check, see I can check her mouth and see that it's nice and clean. And I can see like if anything's wrong or whatever. And then see after the way that I'm holding her. I can let go of her. And we're still good, we're still friends. <laughs> But Sophie's definitely, she asleep. Said, "What about the top of the head to remove the skin?" Same thing. You, you, Fish oil. Said, "Is it bad to kiss snakes?" Well, they eat rats, so it's just you don't want that kind of bacteria and stuff on you. It's more their food that is, that's yucky. Snakes are very clean. And uh, so with with lots of my other snakes, like Sophie's not the chillest of my boas, 
But she's kind of like, she's the kind of snake that the where... Snake said, will they eat rats? Will we see them eat here? <laughs> I'll uh, I'll post some shorts. I have to feed them, but I don't <coughs> I, I I don't really do that on live stream. Just cuz it's a pain in the butt, but I'll I'll make some shorts. I have to I'm doing 15 shorts a day, so later on when I feed them, I'll make a video of that. But the way like Sophie's I can handle her no problem, but if you didn't understand like how snakes behave and everything, you might have problems with Sophie. Because you have to be confident in everything with her. Whereas I have other snakes where it's like you can kind of do no wrong. With her, if you were to do something wrong, smack her in the face or something, she'd bite you. <laughs> Asleep. Said. Oh, okay. Slightly smiling face. Sorry that you are popping bromie. Oh, Love to sleep. Said, do your big boas ever refuse food and how often do you feed them? I have a feeding video. I have a guide to feeding boas and that walks through exactly how I take care of them. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um. Boyle said, have you ever done an occult ritual with the boa? Asleep said, thanks for demonstrating. No problem at all. Just trying to figure out No, no, no occult rituals. I'm really not into any of that stuff. Love the sleep, said. Do your snakes ever mate with one another? Yep. Yes, they do. I, um... <laughs> you want to see some babies? Please. Or do you want to see a bigger snake? Babies or bigger snake? Sleep. 
sleep, said, Book PLZ. <laughs> Uh, how did I? How did I know that? What was coming? <laughs> to sleep, said bigger snake. It's one of my favorite little guys. Asleep said, what do you sell cheaper? A normal Colombian baby boa or normal pattern baby ball python? My normal boas go for 150 bucks. My normal ball pythons go for like 80 bucks. And that's just because of the pet stores. Joel said, what a cutie pie. Do you sell baby reticulated pythons? I haven't been able to produce any. I don't know if I really want to. People are selling them for, um, people are selling them now for like $300 and it's just, I think that's, that's insane. I paid, I paid over a thousand for like five. Five out of the six that I have, I spent over a thousand dollars each. So, to see them being sold for three hundred dollars is just—I don't know. Like, what do you do? Do you breed them and then sell them for three hundred dollars? Also, I think that's bull. What is the most expensive snake you have? Um. Sleep said, so you own a barber shop and a snake business? Probably this. This is a Hypo Motley Sterling, and she was the first one in the world. Sleep said, Did you eat a hamburger for lunch? Fish oil said, Can you give me seventy five percent discount? <laughs> 
Okay, so. Go away! I'm in trouble! <laughs> okay, um. What else? Okay, I gotta clean. Uh, I'm cleaning a big. Yeah, I'm cleaning a big home. I'm right here down below. And then I'll show you my second biggest snake. And then I gotta go. What? We gotta go meet mommy. Sleep said. What's your favorite horror movie? Um, I don't really watch that kind of stuff anymore. Tried Oil to said, you have a marijuana leaf tattoo on your forearm. No, I don't. It's actually a daisy. And then over here... Over there I got a rose. So I got a rose and I got a daisy. Nice. I actually did, I did most of my tattoos. I was a tattoo artist also. <laughs> I did a little bit of everything. I also do photography. Drones, drone videos, and stuff like that. Sleep said, Snake Man, Barber Man, Botrafty Man, and Tattoo Man. Love to sleep said, What about your lip piercing? Yeah, I don't have it anymore. I, I don't have any piercings anymore. I used to have my, my lip, my tongue, my nipple, my ear, all of them. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I want to get into uh, producing music. That's going to be my next hobby. Because I hate not being able to play music when I'm cleaning. It's part of why I actually don't stream while I clean because it's just like I hate not having like good music. And copyright free music, lots of it is worse than listening to no music. <laughs> What piercing was most painful? Fish oil said, Is business getting better at the salon since COVID restrictions are lessening? Um, it's more that they already did the damage. They killed a lot. Like, So I used to have a lot of ladies that would come and get their hair colored. And they would get like, they would get like two to five hundred dollar color jobs. And I would be doing like two or three of those every Friday and every Saturday. And now, like one on Friday and one on Saturday, it's, it's rough. And I've been working really hard to try and grow the YouTube. 
But YouTube took away my monetization. And a lot of people in the reptile industry don't like me. But like I, I refuse I refuse to change and to try and pretend to be somebody that I'm not to please people when I know that I've never like meant to do anything wrong or to hurt anyone or anything. Oil said, Shoot man, how can they take away your monetization for snakes? Uh because said I would probably get a headache if I was a hairdresser at the end of every work day. <laughs> uh, it's you know what? I I like people. I like being around people. I like listening to women complain. <laughs> it helps me feel better about my own life. Plus, it's just like I, I get to hang out with people, and then they pay me to help them, you know, look nice and feel better about themselves. Like, in what other job do you get to grow old with your friends? All I've wanted to do is basically make a living being around people I enjoy. Sleep said, maybe you can appeal the YouTube monetization. Uh, I need to have 4,000 hours of watch time. So I have to get that again. I, I I took all my channels. So I had one main channel, and I and I split it up into like seven channels. So now all the view time from all those other videos. Sleep said, "Did you ever cut hair of men who smelled like armpits?" <laughs> I cut hair for homeless people. So yeah. All right. You know what? They have it a lot worse than we do. So. Whatever. Okay. There you go, that's, that's Ivy. Woo! Choil said, I hope business gets better on your end. Feels bad to hear about that mate. That is not a small snake. That's this is the thing with super dwarfs. They're like this is a seventy-five percent super dwarf, and that's like an eight-foot snake. Sleep said, "Ivy is beautiful." Yeah, she is. She's sweet too. Be 
Thanksgiving time is coming. Okay. Who's next? Clean you and you and you. I gotta clean you. I guess I can. Does this thing turn? I need it to like swivel. Doesn't swivel. <laughs> oh. Boyle said, Do you think depopulation is necessary for survival of the human race? Sleep said, What was your first career choice before hairdresser? Oh, I had over fifty jobs. There we go. Like that. That's how we do it. Uh, my first job, I was a newspaper boy. And of course, Ivy pissed in the container. Oh. Sleep said, Did you ever want to be a police officer? No, never. I wanted to be a criminal. <laughs> I used to want to be like Robin Hood or something. Steal from the rich, give to the poor kind of thing. I never re I never really had anything, so my whole life, like everything that I got, everything that I like did, I, I worked for, so no, I, I never got any handouts. I, I moved out of my house at 19 years old, and basically whatever I wanted to do I had to work for. Whatever I got, I had to sacrifice for, so... Like, to have a business when you're a kid? Boyle said, thought on mandatory injections. <laughs> uh... W w like, I don't like anything really mandatory. The laws protect us and whatever, but... I, I don't like the idea of anyone trying to control anyone. Anything. I don't know. I don't like.
I mean, who, like, I don't know, like, I, like, I try to stay neutral on stuff, right? I don't like to, you know. I don't like to start stuff with people, with things that I don't know anything about, right? I don't know anything about that stuff. I hear all sorts of stuff, and, like, I don't, I wouldn't want any of those shots to be unsafe for anyone. At the same time, I also don't like the idea of, like... Sleep, said. Big Pharma spent years lying to doctors and patients about opioids for pain. Well, this cost countless lives and is continuing to this day. Now we have to trust them for our survival. Got to sleep, said. Was it tough to move all your furniture upstairs when you moved in your apartment? Oh, yes. Um, so... What was it? I was forced to take medication. I was forced to take like seven pills a day. I have ADD, borderline, conduct disorder. I was labeled with like five different disabilities. And uh, I wasn't allowed at school unless I took medication. So I was being forced to take seven pills a day. And after high school, I said, I'll never, I'll never do that again. Because the pills made me feel terrible. And I, I started working out. And I taught myself to be happy with myself because I had really low self-esteem and I really, I really hated myself for a long time. So now, like, I'm good with myself. Like, <laughs> you, you know. But I was in a, I was in a really dark place for a long time. And that's, I don't know, that's why I have a lot of sympathy. Sweet said, while you have a powerful story of adapting and overcoming. Oh, I, I would be dead right now. If, if I didn't change my life, I, I would be dead now for sure. So, you know, that's why, that's why I try to kind of like, I'm always there for people if they need me, you know? But that's also why I like humor. I like to laugh at everything. <laughs> and people constantly confuse, you know, like behaving stupid with being stupid. But it's like, who, who wants to act all serious all the time? I'd rather laugh and have fun, right? Because life can be depressing. I was walking down the street one day and I was just like, I hate life. And I'm just like, it's a beautiful day and I just want nighttime to come so I can do drugs and stuff. And I realized that I needed to change because I, I didn't enjoy life anymore. And then I, I, I changed and I started to appreciate life and appreciate the day and appreciate everything that's kind of good. Love to sleep, said. What age did you decide to move out of your parents' house? Nineteen. Some spirit brother? Oh, okay, thanks. I thought you meant like you're my spirit brother. But you just like my constitution. <laughs> thanks. Sweet. Said, I made you laugh yesterday about the balls like to hide joke, remember? Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, la, la, la. So, what do you? Where do you want us to go? 
Well, well, it's up to you. If you want to go somewhere, we can meet you somewhere. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, like, sure. Oh, right, sushi. Sushi's always good. Yep. All right, he's going to come another time. No. I've been cleaning. Uh, Bubby's playing. She watched. I let her watch Kung Fu Panda 3. Yes, please. Okay, see ya, Mama. We are getting sushi. Life is good in the hood. She's got her own patches? She's got her own patches! Ooh. That's cool. You watch your mouth, young lady. Wow. <laughs> you watch your mouth. No, you watch your mouth. Why, you kiss your mommy with that mouth? Sleep, said yes? Sushi, for the win. Oh yeah, sushi's so good. I love salmon. I love salmon sashimi and salmon sushi and spicy salmon and spicy salmon hand roll. And Daddy, I'm gonna make some sushi. Sleep. I said, I made your mom laugh too. Yeah, my mom. My mom's pretty funny. Oh my goodness! So let me tell you a story. So my uh, my stepdad, when he first like my mother. My mother started like talking to him a lot on online, and um, <laughs> so she didn't even tell us. She just married him, and then she came here. She brought him here, and she basically told us like I got married. And at first, he didn't. He yeah. I got I got a sausage. Okay, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning right now. So Soil. Do your Set. playing. That's your mom on the documentary, right? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, she just basically got married without telling us. If we ever did that to her, we would never hear the end of it, okay? But she, she went and she got married to this guy that's a year younger than me. And at first, he really didn't like me because he thought that I was. He said. How can I watch your documentary? Um, just, just go, just go into, um, go to Haircut Hero on YouTube. Just search Haircut Hero and you'll find my documentary. It's about 25 minutes long. Anyway, so, when I'm at home, I fart. I fart in the snake room, I fart at home, I fart at my mom's home, at my dad. Like, if I'm at home, I fart. I don't try to hide it. I just do it. I think it's funny. But uh, certain cultures, like German cultures, think farting is funny. And then, like, Spanish culture thinks it's, like, disgusting and disrespectful. So, I'm having dinner at my mom's house. And I just farted like it was nothing, like I always fart. And he got so angry, like, he, he, he's, like, disrespectful. He flipped his food over. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I still tease him about it sometimes, but he just didn't understand that, like, that's just me. And over, over the years, he started to understand that, like, I'm a humorous person. I, I don't really like to take anything too seriously. So after that, we became friends, and now I really like him. Uh, he's been with my mom for like 14 years, so, you know, if they're happy, then I'm happy for them. Yeah. Oh boy, then you go fix them. Okay, I gotta, I gotta wash this. And now I'm going to have to, like, it's going to take me a little bit longer. I'm going to have to go and wash these big ones. Asleep, said, 
Wow, I am glad he learned to understand humor. <laughs> I know, lots of people don't. <coughs> <coughs> said, I'm gonna watch your documentary right now. Yeah, you can watch it in between. <laughs> I just, now with the bigger ones, the bowls, they take a while to clean. So, <coughs> I, I, I'm going to stay with you guys because we don't have to go, we don't have to go meet the wife. But, um, I'm going to, I'm going to basically, I got like one, two, three, four, I got five more to clean and then I'm going to toodle-oodle. It's Bond! Snake Bond! Isn't he cute? Cool. What are you learning Python or like what kind of programming are you learning? Sleep said, okay, I am just hanging out while I learn programming. The sleep said, one more project before I get certified and I am not a useless hermit.
asleep. Said JavaScript right now. Really? Isn't Java getting old? Like, isn't everyone using Python now? Okie dokie. Okie dokie artichoke. Asleep said, so JavaScript is still used by like 75% of all websites. But I have to learn Python next also. Python is very, very useful. But JavaScript is harder, so many recommend learning that first. Cool. So what do you do? What's your job or what are you trying to do as a job? There we go. Come on, you're okay. This is Leia. She's beautiful, too. Asleep said, I am trying to get into ethical hacking, cybersecurity. Love the sleep said, like protecting websites or businesses from the bad guys. Cool. I have a buddy that does that for the bank. He moved to BC. You know, we're gonna... The bank. Very, very cool. This is Fade. I think she's a ghost, but I don't know. Choil said, Leah is beautiful too. This one, this is Fade. The other one is Leia. First I'll clean, then I'll do the water after. Choil said, go Fade. Yeah, that was Leia and Fade.
sleep, said, Thank you for taking the time to answer questions in chat. I am gonna get back to work. See you on the next one, smiley face. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I interact with everyone. And if you go on the channels tab, you can find my various other hobbies. I have like seven channels. So check them out. And have fun learning how to program. <laughs> I do not envy you at all. Yes, baby. What? <coughs> I'm going to be streaming about an hour every day or two. Cuz I spend about I spend at least an hour cleaning every day, so What did you do? What did you say you did? I'm If it doesn't have air, I'll pump it up. The basketball will bounce, the soccer ball shouldn't bounce. Thank you, bring it, bring it, bring it. Pin's supposed to be here. Avery, the pin is supposed to be here. Where's the part that you stick into the ball? Look here, there's supposed to be a pin that screws into here that goes into the ball. Okay, get it. Mama. Pump it up. Let me see. What is that? Throw that out. I can't believe you lost the pump. You should look everywhere for it. Because I can't. I can't. talking about, right? <gasps> it's yawning! I never catch the snake yawn on video. What? What, baby, baby? It's, it's like a little, it's like a metal pin. It's like a long metal piece that has a screw thing on it. Here, come over here. 
from? This daddy. It looks like this. It's just like that. Okay, Dad. Look everywhere for it. I tried to find it, Daddy. Look at my stuff, isn't it neat? What do you think my collection's complete? Don't I have enough snakes? Too many snakes. Look at the poo. Watch how I clean. Most of them are nice and some are mean. Hey, you over there. Do you like my show? Every day I have to clean. Sometimes inside the poo there is green. Try to be nice, people are mean. Don't understand, we are human, not machine. What, baby? It was a shocking event. Photo of her posted on a now deleted Instagram account of Isaac, dominated by posts and clips from war films and documentaries. She has the cops and young brothers with violent obsessions. What, baby? What? Come, show me. Because it has to be connected to the video game. When you get older, I'll teach you. How to play Rockstar! Why 
what? with the headphones, please, okay?
Music shall surround you. maker of moon glows and she's in shed but even though she's in shed you can see how chill she is she's a super super chill snake she is a sweetheart and she was the first snake to produce moon glows for me she produced three moon glows Think of me. Then we have we have Athena, who's not. She's still been recovering. She had a uh, she had a snake stuck in her, and. Uh, She's been slowly recovering. She lost a lot of weight, and we're slowly trying to get it back on her. But I think she's beautiful. That is Athena. Promise me you
That son when you grow up. Do 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 Mr. Bright Side. La 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 you treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. Why do you have to stoop so low? Have your friends collect your records and then change your number. Guess that I don't need the though. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Well, you did it! But you didn't have to call me off. I can't sing that high. I can't sing that high. I think the highest I can go is Wheatus, Teenage Dirtbag. What is it? I can't even sing. I got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. Come with me Friday, don't say maybe. I'm just a teenage dirtbag. Very good, very good. You're a girl though. I'm a man. Here I go. Here I go. I can't even do it. Here I go. Scream my lungs out and try to get to you. You are my only one. I will go. What's the worst one? The worst one ever. How could this happen to me? I made a mistake. Life goes on. As I'm fading away. I just want to 
scream. How could this happen to me? Hola, señorita, ¿cómo estás? No, no quiere eso. What do you mean? Like, doesn't it turn on so quickly, anyways? Turn it, do I turn it on or do I like. Okay, let's do dishes. We can sing and do dishes. Does that sound fun? Am I clean that? Okay. When I was a young boy, my daddy took me into the city. Okay, let's 